so much about fear, but about confidence. I mean, I think they're connected because a lot of people are always, you know, asking me to do workshops on confidence. And I think that um, confidence and which helps you overcome fear is really knowing yourself, knowing who you are, uh, knowing your strengths, your weaknesses, your talents. And a lot of people don't even know what that is. So I do a lot of work with people helping them figure out who they are and what they love to do. And what they love to do. <laughs> so, because, you know, a lot that you have to at least start with that. And then once you really um, know yourself, like I said, date yourself, spend quality time with yourself. That doesn't mean, you know, doing, you know, Breaking Bad binge watching with like a bottle of wine by yourself. That's not quality time by yourself. Um, but, qual you know, go to the park, go to the movies, take yourself to dinner. I know people get afraid of doing those things. So learn to spend time with yourself, know who you are, and then when you figure out who you are, own it, accept it, be comfortable with it. And the fact of the matter is that once you figure out who you are, that might be drastically different from, from your family, from your peers, from your culture. And that's something that you have to sort of reckon with. And so the more you sort of develop your muscle in terms of really knowing who you are, what you want, what you're good at, that just builds that confidence muscle, which then helps you get past the fear. Because then you get to a place where it's worse if you don't do it than if you do it.